I don't know about you guys, but I would like to bring my grandfather back, but uh, then again, maybe not. This is a recent Newsweek article, Quantum Archaeology, the quest to 3D bioprint every dead person back to life. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. A 3D model of a complex, oh my god, I'm going to have to read big words, anaplastology case created in collaboration with the anaplastologist Jean de Kuber is seen at a Belgian company Materialize. Ooh, nice name. The biggest 3D printer in Europe. Ooh, look that up. In Luan, then, January 24, 2013, five years ago, 3D printing has already changed the game for manufacturing specialized products such as medical devices. But transhumanists believe the real revolution is still to come. Earth and Stardust can also be forged, arranged, and ultimately 3D printed to create life. After all, humans and their brains are mostly just meat. What makes a human and the three pounds of gray matter we all carry around on our shoulders called a brain? Be able to fly to the moon, play Mozart's Fifth Sympathy, and admire sunsets is how subatomic particles in that meat interact and play off each other. The jury is still out, just like milk. Is it good or bad for you? We don't know. But many futurists and technologists like me believe the subatomic world is just discernible math. A puzzle of numbers and possibly some unpredictable variables waiting to be calculated by super sophisticated microprocessors we will inevitably have in the next 30 or so years. What's well, taking so long? Really, where's my flying car, man? I thought we were supposed to have those in like the 90s or something. The quagmire here is that if computers can one day calculate complete realities, including a specific moment in time of an entire physical human being, then all we have to do is resurrect the dead, is 3D print them out. Stop! Given that scientists are already having success 3d printing biological tissue some people believe we'll be able to do this with the dead in less than 50 years hey bring me back then i guess what the hell this mind-blowing field is called quantum archaeology never heard of it before we delve too far into real-time technological resurrection it is important to understand the driving force behind such radical technology as well as the anti-death landscape of the burgeoning transhumanist movement, a movement which leads to quantum archaeology charge. Most transhumanists' number one goal is to become immortal through science. And there we go. We go from uh, being a baby and then we end up in a wheelchair and then we come out of that wheelchair, it looks like. Well, that's a lot of, lot to read. I'll uh, put the link in the description. Oh yeah, what what caught my eye about this too is we'll be able to uh, stream Netflix right to our brains. There it is. We'll be able to stream Netflix directly and social media into our optic nerve. Others, like myself, uh, not me, I'm just reading this, already have implants. Why, well, you know, I might have one that I not that I don't know about. Can start a car, open doors, and pay for things. Some biohackers even want to cut off their limbs and replace them with robotic ones. Ooh. Biohackers. He stole my arm, right? My arm was a really good arm. I had it 3D printed recently. It had a great thumb and a great trigger finger. Someone cut it off and stole it. I didn't know how I'm going to get it back. Could you imagine if you were a thief and you were a collection of body parts? That would be the real fucking Frankenstein, wouldn't it? 
Oh my god, someone write a movie. Alright, see you later.